You are right, lads, welcome to a new video from the Ultimate Games HD. It is right here. And as you can see on your screens, we are doing the first episode of Career Mode, and we are doing it with Arsenal. If you don't know that already, you can see it by me downloading the latest updates and selecting Arsenal as the team, obviously. So, about this career mode, it's a de massive new look to the career mode screen, if that's what you want to call it, the home navigation, whatever you want to call it. And at the moment, I don't really like it, if I'm completely honest, I don't think it's that good. I, I really don't like this global transfer network, I really do not like it. Not much, like, I don't, I don't know really, it's just not that great like you can do stuff on it and you can get people you never you would never really think of before but sometimes it's just really annoying because say if you wanted to get Marquisio you'd have to try and find out what he wants like what not what he wants what he's good at and like his attributes and it's just really annoying because you just gotta wait for them to su suggest good players because sometimes you can get players who are like really really crap or really really good so as you can see there, I was putting in what I want at, from Italy, Germany, and oh Spain. That was it. And I need I'll have a right midfielder, a striker, which I'm just about to do now, and a centre back because Arsenal are very weak in their centre backs role. And later on, you'll see what happens with the centre backs. So I did want a striker who was strong, and it, the first striker it came up with was Jerry Mbakugai. Don't even ask me to say his name. And he looked alright, so I decided to inquire about him. And then we accepted an offer for Lucas Fabianski because he is absolutely shocking on this game. And we do have that Emmanuel Viviano as an Arsenal player now. And then the next striker we got was Diego Costa from Atletico Madrid. He looks like an absolute beast on this game, especially on Ultimate Team. So I decided to ask to scout more about him and as well that Rojas guy, as you just saw there, for a right winger. No centre-backs just yet, which I wanted to scout. So the Atletico Madrid came back and said that they want £30 million for Diego Costa. Now, we only started off with £25 million or something like that, so... We were like, no way are we getting rid of 30 million. So we decided to give them Rosicki because I'm never going to play him because we've got Urzil and Kazola and 23 million. So we sold Fabianski there, just there. And then the first centre back, Jehersen Vergara, 19 year old from AC Milan. He seemed alright, so we decided to ask to scout more about him. That ask to scout more is really annoying because it takes like 15 days sometimes. And it just wastes the transfer window, really. And um, they accepted our offer for Diego Costa. So we decided to give him what we're going to do. I always overpay on what they say because I just want to get the player. But that will climax later on. And we sold Per Saka. Goach is like most hated Arsenal player for 6.5 million. And Diego Costa de declined us. So I don't know why I did that. So I literally just offered him the same again, I think. Because... I was just like, if you're going to decline, just I'll offer you the same. you got one more chance and then I'm not going to get you. And then we found Leonardo de Bonucci. I was going to say de Bucci, but it's Bonucci. And we asked to scout about him. And then we found Julian Schie Schieber, Schieber. I don't know how to say his name. And I was very interested in buying him. And then this Verga guy got his final report. And it turns out he's just moved. So I can't buy him. And then... For 12 million for Julian Sheba, I was like, I'm very tempted to do that. Because he's worth 12 million as well. So I decided to place a bid in for 12 million to see if I could get him. And then we looked at Top Rack, but I wasn't going to get him, to be honest. And then we found this guy, Frederico Cart. No, I don't even. Oh, don't even ask me to say his name. He seemed alright, so I was like, yep, go for him. See how good he is, and we can hopefully have a nice little player on our hands so so we did that and then Rams got a bid declined that and then I was just debating whether to sell Serge, Serge Gnabry or not in the end I decided not to because of his awesome game against Swansea where he scored his first goal and then I'll show you this guy Wellington Silva 91 acceleration 90 sprint speed 92 agility 91 balance Five star skills, and he's on loan from Arsenal. And he's 20. 
He looks like an absolute beast. I can't wait for it till he comes back. Ooh, pardon me. And then we're going to list all these players for transfers and loans because Arsenal, they're, they're a very young team. And lots of these players have just been on it since FIFA 12, pretty much. And you just always send them out. And I like Yerinis, he's, he was like 18 on that FIFA 12. And I really don't like him, but I send him out on loan because he might be a decent player. Most of these people will be quite decent players, I hope, for future. Because hopefully we will be staying with this Arsenal career mode for a very long time. Then Yaya Sanogo, I decided to send him out on loan because I knew I wouldn't play him just yet because he's not good enough at the moment and I decided to list Abu Dhabi I don't know if that was a good idea or not and we listed Bentner and I think we listed someone else I no, we didn't we just looked at other people and decided that people weren't allowed to buy Wilshire and then we did also loan Serge Gnabry because he's not gonna get in the starting 11 when we have that Carbitara guy looking to come in, and then we have Oxlade Chamberlain and Walcott, who will be right wingers. So we got our final scout report on Marco Rojas, and he has also just moved. So that was really, really annoying. I've just wasted loads of scouting things on all these players, and that's really annoying. So Carbitara, I really don't know how to say his name. They wanted 2.6 million for him, so I decided to get it. Because I don't know what overall he's going to be. He might be an 80 overall for all we know. So we can do that and put in 2.6 million. Then we got to Sheba. I'm going to call him Sheba from now on. And we decided to offer him only an important first team player. Because Giroud is our main starter. The best player in the world. And Sunderland offers us 9 million for Oxlade Chamberlain. And he's only worth 4. That's really stupid. And then we got Sheba because he accepted. So that's another striker into the club. Getting rid of Bentner and Chu Young Park. So that's not too shabby. And then Carbitara, they got accepted for 2.6 million. I'm actually going to play with this guy quite a lot because he does seem really decent. And we are just coming up to our first game. Unfortunately, this episode doesn't have a lot of games in it because... There's only three preseason games, and there's not much clips from it. I will explain that in a second. So he went into the first game. Truman Park asked to play, so I decided to let him play. And that was a team with Yerinis, Miichi, Park, and Viviano, and Boateng being the, like, the non-regular starters. And this was our best chance of the game, and it was a goal. It was Musa Ozil crossing the ball in. Thought it was going to go in, but Yerinis headed it in at the far post after 36 minutes. Always handy, first goal of the series. And then Yerinis got through again, but failed to tuck that away. And that was the end of the first game. Only 1-0, only really two chances against Nice in that, which I'm very sorry about because that was very annoying. Not much going on in the games at the moment. And that's generally about all of the games that you will see. And we got Carbitara. So we decided to get rid of Gibbs only for 15 million, though, because... Gibbs is a class player, and 15 million is how much I think he's worth. And we decided to get rid of all the instructions because we have got all the players that we need, like me now, going in to offer for Leonardo Bonucci for 4 million. He is worth 3.5, so I think that would be quite a nice little buy for me. And then we went up against Wolfsburg with that team. Sheba and Carbitara both play in that game, but... It was Wolfsburg who struck first with a lovely cross by someone and Olic. I think he's going to be really OP on this game. He's got 80 pace again. And he's got some pretty decent strength on him scoring after 21 minutes. This was our best chance with Sheba putting it through for Yerinis. And Podolski out on the wide had a right-footed shot even though he's left-footed, which was pretty retarded of him. And that was it. And that is the end of that game as well. Sorry about not many footage for the gameplay. 1-0 to Wolfsburg, so we lost our second game. Then Giroud got an offer from Wolfsburg literally as soon as I finished that game. And I said, only for 17 million. He is worth 7 million. And 17 million is worth for it, worth it for Giroud. I think he's an absolutely class player. So we got our offer accepted for Bonucci, and we offered him what I think we should give him. So he would definitely join, and we'll see if he joins at in the next episode, because unfortunately he doesn't accept in time for this episode, and I don't even know if he has accepted yet. 
So we go into our next game against Sampdoria, and we have a very strong team, except with Martinez in Icefield. Icefield or Esfield. And then a mistake at the back in the 35th minute. Let Sassone throw on goal, and he just finessed it away. 36 minutes here, 35, whatever. And that was 1-0 to Sampdoria. Our best chance coming from... Ra another, one of our best chance coming from Ramsey, who had lovely save from the keeper. And Chamberlain coming in, crossing it in to Giroud at the back post, and Giroud hits the bar. So that was the end of that game as well. So not much happening in the game's front, and we lost our second game. And then straight after that, we got a flood of transfers for Giroud, and I was just like, I could get a lot of money here. So I'll go for 20 million, I'll offer 20 million for everyone, and hopefully we'll see if any of them accept in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this series. I will keep bringing them out to you. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.